Hi, in this short demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to configure, um, first off, certificate authentication on a Mac. Second off, how to then uh, enable that for um, Safari, and then why that has a direct effect on um, the way that Zscaler app works. So first thing I'm gonna do, if we take a look at um, my keychains. I've got, I've got no certificates in here. Um, this is my login keychain and my certificates. Um, so all I need to do is I need to get a certificate. So I'm going to go to my um, domain controller um, and that'll log me in. And I'm going to request a certificate. I want to use a certificate, a high grade 2048 bits. Let's click submit and install that certificate. Uh, it'll download um, and we'll just go ahead and, uh, and install that. And we'll see here now that I've got a, uh, I've got a certificate. Um, it identifies me as a user. Um, obviously, the authentication into the domain controller validated me and it issued a certificate to me as that user. Um, and you'll notice I've also got a private key. And the private key automatically selects um, Safari as a um, um, as an application that can use this without, um, and it's going to ask for for access. Um, so let's go ahead and um, run a uh, run a quick check. If we go to my ADFS server, IDP initiated sign on, I want to just sign into this site and I want to use an X509 certificate, and it's going to prompt me and say, "Oh, um, you know, which certificate should I use?" Um, of course, I've only got one, um, and it's the only one that's valid for for WelshGeek.net. So I can click click continue on that. It'll sign me in. It's not really the best user experience in terms of um, transparency. So what we can do is we can come in over here and we can say, let's create an identity preference. Um, the identity preference we want is star.welshgeek.net and we want to select that one certificate and click add. Um, and if we, if we go into all items and, and say uh, Mark Ryan, I should see this identity preference here. We want to delete this one. We, we're not particularly concerned with that. Now it's been stored. So anything that's WelshGeek.net um, will automatically um, present that certificate. So let's um, close down Safari and reopen it um, and browse back to that ADFS server. We'll close it down because we want to clear the session state and sign into the site again. Um, Let's sign in with the X509 certificate, and it does it automatically. So the, the, the process of having Safari configured and the um, identity preference means that that all works. And so um, uh, all works transparently. So let's reopen Safari and browse to the um, SAML SP page for, for Zscaler private access. Um, that'll automatically redirect and log in. Um, we want the X509 certificate, and uh, and away we go. So that's given us everything we need to know that the the transparent sign-on is working for for um, um, for the ADFS server and Zscaler as well. So if we now log in here as mride at welshgeek.net, and I select my cloud and sign in with an X509 certificate. Because this is a Safari embedded browser, that will automatically sign in with certificates. So those two things are really important. Um, if I didn't have that identity preference, um, let's just sign out of here and show you what that looks like. And I just want to uh, exit this um, because I, I want to make sure we've got no session state. Um, let's um, let's delete this uh, this session state here, uh, the the identity preference, and now we go mryan out welshgeek.net zscaler two sign in. It'll just sit there, and you'll see it'll spin, and it's because um, it's because this doesn't uh, the zscaler app doesn't have the ability to generate that pop up screen within the browser to say, um, what do you want to sign in against? Um, so 
hopefully that uh, that gives you the, the the details you need for configuring um, uh, Zscaler app, Zscaler um, uh, with uh, certificate authentication. Thank you.